we are going to discuss about pipe racks now most of you guys won't be aware what is pipe rack but you must have heard the word similar to pipe rack that is shoe rack i hope you must have heard that name right uh, you can find it on each of our homes so let's just uh, elaborate that term uh, shoe rack what does it do uh, shoe rack rack is a one particular structure which holds the shoe correct that's how the name came up exactly in similar fashion if we elaborate the word pipe rack it is a rack a rack is nothing but a structure uh, that holds pipe so that's a basic fit, uh, arrangement uh, or understanding of a pipe rack so let's go back to the actual definition and where do we use it right so uh, before that means what are the general agendas for this particular session so we'll understand what is pipe rack another thing is that where these pipe racks are being used and third is the general understanding about the pipe racks right so let's start off with a what is pipe rack right so in a process unit a pipe often run across several units with line coming out of facilities now in a process unit what does you imply by that particular term process unit is nothing but any chemical or a petrochemical plant that we generally come across just like in gujarat we can see gsfc gnfc or even the reliance jamnagar site so those are all the chemical plants that we can call it as a process unit where different kind of processes occurs so there the fluid or any stuff substance which is in a feed like in a terms of feed or it is like a final product generally flows through pipe and pipe does not always uh, carries this fluids apart from that sometimes it carries gases steams and even water so those are the pipes which will be going or running across the plant and pipe rack is one of those structure which holds this pipe so pipe racks are used to support pipes cable trays and power cables etc in petrochemical chemical and power plants so petrochemical and chemical plants are more or less same uh, where generally a chemical process is being done and power plants are where the uh, electricity is being generated so uh, now we have seen that pipe rack supports pi uh, pipes cable trays and power cables we have already discussed about the pipes now what is this cable trays and power cables now for entire plant it has to be illuminated during the night time apart from that to running out the pumps or any equipment which is there on a site like a compressor requires electricity even our normal right lighting and fan type arrangement or a cooling structures might require a power to supply the current in them so at that location we'll be using those uh, cables now to support them generally structures are being considered say however we have a pipe rack which generally carries this uh, trace uh, which holds this power cables which will be run across the plant right many a times pipe rack also support mechanical equipments wall access platforms and vessels now what do you understand by mechanical equipments mechanical equipment are nothing but are heat exchangers condensers or sometimes air coolers which will be supported on a pipe rack another thing is that wall access platforms sometimes there will be like pressure will be generated in the pipes if we won't release it it will explode so to remove those excessive pressure inside the pipe sometimes a wall has been provided and to operate that plant walls we have to have a platform so those are also sometimes mounted in the pipe racks apart from that there are vessels vessels are you can say that they are the it can be horizontal or it can be vertical vessels are nothing but a storage drum that you can understand uh, which carries or like which stores the fluid uh, water or sometimes even steam for a various processes in the plant so when designing the plot plan for any plant 
it is important to design and plan the pipe rack through which piping will run from one unit to another. In this case, pipe rack is a main artery of a unit. Yes, you should understand this term, the main artery of a plant. In our heart, uh, which is most important organ in our body, uh, pumps uh, blood in our body, right? But how? Through arteries, right? So we can say that the whole plant, which is equivalent to a heart, uh, is a very important product. But the arteries plays a vital role in running that heart, right? The so same way in a so in a power plant, pipe rack act as an artery, which carries the pipe from one location to another throughout the plot plan, so that required pipe can be uh, reached to the particular locations, right? So this is a one typical pipe rack that you, that you can see. Pipe rack is an assembly of a one portal system, like right so here you can see many pipes are flowing through intermediate tiers and on top of it these are the cable trays the three layers that you are going through so generally the pipes will be located somewhere below the uh, below tiers and pipe racks will consist of these cable trays mostly on top of the pipe rack right so Pipe rack may be integral part of a process unit located in middle of a plot plan or it may be an arterial part connecting several services of other process unit. So let's ex uh, understand that through a plot plan. So this is a plot plan of one particular process plant. There you can see that these are the column footprints, right? You can see these. So this particular philo phenomena is a pipe rack. So generally pipe rack, the main pipe rack you can say will always be located in middle of any plot plan since a pipes which are coming outside the battery limit, battery limit is nothing but the uh, boundary of our particular plant. Beyond that there are certain other processes will also be occurring and the pipes which are coming from other facilities will enter into this particular pipe rack. It flows through our plot plant, distribute their pipes uh, wherever required in a structures and after the process is being done the pipe rack also carries out those pipes out of the plot plan to another units for further processes so that way a pipe rack act as a major structure in a plot plan as they have already said that there are also interconnecting pipe racks so if you understand that between two structures uh, just assume that there's another structure over here as well and to supply the piping in that structure, a intermediate pipe rack will be provided over here, which will be a normal one with a two, three tiers and uh, some five, six portal bays, uh, which won't be that much complicated, will, uh, will be erected over here, which sponsors this pipe on both the structures. So those are the interconnecting pipe racks. Right. So since pipe rack are typically located in middle of this plant, they must be constructed first before they get obstructed by tons of equipments right so since over here means in the picture that i have shown you earlier as well uh, you see before anything else firstly the pipe rack is being installed since it will be carrying most of the pipeline which will be coming throughout uh, from another boundaries or uh, various structures which will be out there will also support those pipes so these are the structure which will be firstly erected and after that only the remaining structures will be constructed side by side right so there are some of the important data required before you commence detailing of development of a pipe rack so you cannot just blindly start constructing a pipe rack in the middle of a plot plan you have to take care of certain uh, uh, other parameters in the consideration so first is a plot plan one should understand that what are the various structures that will be coming in a plot plan so that the pipe rack which will be uh, which which is planned should not obstruct in another another processes there is a client specification sometimes client also take interest in modeling these things 
that what should be the width and what should be the ideal length of a one pipe rack that is being constructed and a plot plant. Sometimes for a future requirement, even client ask, uh, ask us to provide a specific uh, envelopes or you can say a blind or a blank space in a one particular tier so that in future if he come across uh, expansion of a plant so there in that empty space he again can lay out pipes and the purpose of a pipe rack can still be served. PNIDs. PNIDs is nothing but piping and instrument diagrams. This has been performed by chemical engineers. After all, this is all the processes which is a, pro which is a product of a chemical engineer. Means what are the processes needs to be performed in a plot plan will be or is like a detailed study by a chemical engineer. So, in a PNIDs, you can say the, you can see from where to where the pipes will be uh, flowing through. Means which pipe will be going in which structure, and what are the instrument that will be required to measure the pipe flow or even the pressure inside the uh, pipe. So those are the diagrams which will you can find it in PNIDs. Another thing is construction material. Whether the pipe rack of ours will be of concrete, which is shown in the uh, image or it can be of steel like this or sometimes even a hybrid pipe racks are also being constructed that means that till certain height you can find the pipe rack of a concrete and above that it will be of steel generally for when it comes to hybrid pipe racks uh, for a pipe carrying tiers it will be of concrete only when it comes to cable trays the structure which will be on top of the pipe rack will be of steel right so this is one particular plot plan uh, i'll explain you what are the different parts or what are the different uh, equipment and structure that are uh, being modeled over here but that we can like discuss in a, a minute or so so whatever we have just seen it over here let me just explain you with a proper diagram so this is one particular cross section of a pipe rack just like that we have taken a, this particular bay for understanding Sometimes, since the pipe rack is modeled somewhere in the main line, just you can see it over here, in between the plot plan, you can see that the road is going below the pipe rack. So, you have to keep an excess envelope where a, a truck or a person with a trolley for a maintenance, it can pass easily without any hindrance of a pipe or a cable tray. Means, if a tray truck is passing below the pipe rack it should not uh, collapse or collide with any of the structural uh, arrangement of, apart from that some certain times below the pipe rack you can see the arrangement of a pumps or even some a uh, stationary equipment located below the pipe rack now let's just go to about years so these are the columns and you can see these are the intermediate uh, beams which is serving the portal for its main stability. So at the bottom lines, you can see the heavier pipes, which generally carries the process of uh, fluids, which are the main content of the plot plan means what are the fluids that are being running through the plot plan, which will be over here. And as per our uh, structural arrangement, what we do is that in a cantilever or in a portal like this, we try to keep the heavier loads at bottom so that the bending moment over here will be maximum in this particular region. If you keep the heavier pipes or heavier loads at top of it, then the structural requirement or the column might become really heavy due to excessive movement at bottom, right? So we generally try to keep the heavier pipes at the bottom tiers above that so this tier is particularly or the bottom most tier or bottom two tiers will be kept for a process lines above that you can find another two tiers or one tier if a small pipe rack is concerned uh, concerning of a utility lines what are the utility lines that means that a steam line liquid uh, in terms of water or any condensing fluid which will be running across the pipeline which generally goes into an exchanger for a cooling or in other um, uh, structures for their requirement right 
and on top of it you can find an ar arrangement for instrument cable trays and electrical cable trays right so this is a one particular cro um, cross section here you can see in a hatch area it's the future reserved for future pi piping the area reserved right so sometimes a client asks us to provide a certain space uh, empty so that uh, in the future uh, some other pipes can be laid out in this particular region